Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 4, but this time, the Separate Ways side story, because of course Resident Evil 4 follows Leon, but the side story, Separate Ways, follows Ada, who is of course doing stuff during the plot. Though as we see, she doesn't really do a whole lot, she just kind of forced gumps her way around, like, the general vicinity of the main plot, but anyway, let's just start. The only reason I've taken on this mission is to get closer to my own objective. No matter what happens, I can't let anyone figure that out. Of course, hiding in the shadows isn't my style. I'll have to reveal myself to him and offer advice once in a while. I see you've managed to arrive at the village on time. Yes, but nobody remembered to roll out my red carpet. The villagers there are all being controlled. They automatically attack any intruders. Ring the church bell. That should quiet them down for a while. Hmm. Sounds like they're good, obedient boys and girls. Unfortunately, time is not a luxury we have. Gather as much information as you can about the parasites and finish off this little tour. Ring the church bell. Of course, as we were. Because, of course, someone had to ring the bell originally, and it was us. It does, however, take us a very long time to actually get over to that bell. Much longer than this section actually took in the, ori in the actual game, but, you know, whatever. Also, we might be fighting in the same place that Leon was, but, you know, don't worry about that. We, we exist in, like, some kind of nether plane right now. Ow, that was rude of you. So, for now, we just kind of have to hang out for a little while. You know, wait for a cutscene of Leon hiding from uh, Salvador. In fact, I shouldn't really be shooting anyone. I should just sort of, like, run around in a circle. I say as I shoot someone else. Because we have, how much ammo? Not a whole lot of ammo, and we have a shotgun as well. We actually start with a shotgun. We could try and loot the shotgun from this area, but then Nader's just like, no, I should la leave this for Leon. Because, yeah, you know, she knows he's gonna find it. I would, I would totally just scrounge the shotgun anyway, but Ada cares apparently for Leon a little bit more than me. Now, we wander around until we get alerted to something. Uh, around, somewhere around here. Somewhere. Look, there's a key on a roof. Don't don't question. I I think a bird takes it up there. All I remember is there's a key on a roof, and we have to like wander around until we are alerted to the fact a key is on a roof. And then we are granted permission to use our grappling gun. Please do not shank me. I, I asked you kindly not to shank me. Around here? Yeah, somewhere? Somewhere around here, goddammit, there is a key on a roof. Is it up here? There is a shiny, this is not the key on the roof, but gosh darn it, if it isn't something I'll sell later for a fine profit. 
can see I can see the shiny thing up there, but aha! Of course, the chicken. What else would have taken the key up there other than a chicken? Chicken was well known for their ability to fly. Please do not shank me, old crones. Nope, nope. Hook shot. How did Ada see the key from behind the house over there, you might ask? Good question. I know. Ada's just got very good eyesight, apparently. Please do not shank me. Now we can escape quickly through the door. Yes, yes, the door won't open, but that's fine because I got the key. Much easier than Leon got the key. And now we are safe from the horde, because of course they cannot go through loading screens. Aha! Hello, sir. I was trying to reload. I wasn't threatening you. Welcome. It was it's all much too expensive for our meager sums. Ada, of course, cannot upgrade her weapons. Well, that's fucking rude, isn't it now, Snake? Ada can't upgrade her weapons. She can only buy new ones and sell things, and everything, God, every time, and everything was much too expensive, because of course all I have to my name is a spinal, which only sells for a mere 2,000 pesos. Away! Now, we must journey over to the church, so that we can ring the bell, Leon will be fine. Now, I'm pretty sure that section, time-wise, was already over by the time we've gotten down here. God damn it, TMP ammo. But, you know, uh, separate ways exist in a very strange parallel dimension where time flows differently for Ada than it does for Leon. That's a very impressive trick. I'm sure you could get a lot of money by performing that trick for people. Um... Uh, uh, busking, that's the word I was looking for. Look, the English language is hard sometimes. Just ask anyone who's ever tried to learn English. And they'll tell you all about it. Now, if you could all just, like, get out of my tunnel, I'd get out of my swamp, as it were, I would appreciate that. More ammo. Uh. Now. I must admire Ada's physical prowess, though, because she goes out on her spy mission in, like, this form-fitting dress. And, you know, she can pull off some maneuvers without ever even flashing her panties to the camera, which is more than you can say a lot of a lot of, um... Japanese media, which of course Resident Evil is part of. But at the same time, if I was going out on some super secret spy mission, as Ada has, probably wouldn't wear a red cocktail dress. This isn't a cocktail dress, is it? Um, there is a name for this type of dress, I believe, but I do not know what it is. Look, I'm just, I mean, I don't wear dresses very often. I've Sometimes, you know, only on the weekends, but not not very frequently. I'm not well acquainted with the names. Sir? Okay, now I'm gonna shoot this crow, because of course crows continue to just collect all manner of goodies. Now I'll take these, thank you very much. I think I actually have to do that puzzle that was in the graveyard that I totally didn't do the last time I was here, is it, Leon? Man, that's a lot of work. But first, I must shoot all of the locals. I am not doing a very good job of it. I believe I've hit them in the head approximately 0.5 times. Kick. Ho oh ho. I love it. Just you kick someone in the back so hard their head explodes. Now, here, yoink that. Come around here. Shoot you in the face. I saw that throw. That was very rude of you. Ow. I should probably at least eat that egg I have. God, are you guys ever gonna fucking 
die? I have shot you in the face about five times at this point, which is like more times than anyone has any right to be shot in the face and survive by about five. Now, I must come around here, discover the puzzle, because of course the door is locked. Free family insignias of the dead ringers. Looks like the dial in turns. All right. Yep. 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 But okay. Now I didn't do this puzzle previously during the actual main story because I didn't care to get like the treasure out of it. But now we must do the puzzle. We must look at these graves, and it's like, oh look, it's the little uh, the little N thingy do dad. Then we come over here, and it's like, oh, this is the little insignia. And then over here, it's like uh, the little Z curvy thing. And then over here, it's like, oh, all the insignias. So we look for the ones that aren't the insignias. So we got the M, the M, the Z, and the V. And then we come around here. And we come back around here. Yon, back around the church, all the way over here. Hustle, Ada, hustle. And now... We fuck with it until we get the M, the little cur sideways Z, and then the, and the, uh, the V lit up, and then, you know, there's a lot of fucking around. Just please excuse me for a moment while I fuck around with it. Voila. Magnificent. Done. Round insignia. More goons, of course. I, I didn't expect this to turn me around automatically. Alright, fine. You want to juke me? I'll shoot your wife instead. Ha! Didn't see that one coming, did ya? I... I mean... Like... Sometimes... You just can't... Some, like, much like Batman would tell you, some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. Some days you just can't shoot a fucking Spaniard in the face. And sometimes the bullets just, like... Curve around him, like... Uh, what's her face from uh, Metal Gear 2 fucking, what was her name? Fortune? There, Fortune. Fortune. And also, I have realized that I've not done the f complete puzzle here. I need, to, I need to put that back, because I need of course there was something here when Leon was here. We cannot alter the timeline that would create a paradox. We must find treasure to put in the insignia's place the uh the cat the yellow cat's eye i think something like that I'm pretty it was a cat's eye i think so we must we must track down the cat's eye that leon would have found there had we theoretically done that puzzle back back in the day some weeks ago at this point which is fucking snap i tried to stab it Stabbing didn't work out for me. Oh, I got a snake on the first shot. I'm so proud of me. Are you proud of me as well? You should be. Because usually it takes me about five shots. There we go. That, there. We must get it. Also, here comes one of the lovely uh, chainsaw ladies. We uh, could have met them during uh, Leon's story as well, but we, we never... We never went the way they were. Now, yeah. Nah. I, I should have waited a little bit longer, because I think you can knock her down the pit. Uh, I keep trying to do it before she gets to me, and it's just it's not quite working. Nope, I, I'm relatively certain you can knock her down the pit. There we go. Great, great success. Only wasted about seven shots. But, you know, whatever. You know, no one's perfect. Uh, you know who I am. You know what you get into when you come here. You, get, you come here, and what you get into is just, at best, a tenuous grasp of even what game I'm playing. And certainly no astonishingly amazing play. You go somewhere else if you want that. You come here to laugh at... For much the same reason you'd go to, uh... 
one of those carnivals where the guy's like, roll up, roll up, come and see the freak for only five cents. You know, that's, that's why you come here. Now, now that we have the actual solution to the puzzle, I must fuck with it again. No, thank God. Now we can put this here and the timeline is safe. No paradoxes will be committed today. Now we can finally go inside, do the same puzzle Leon did again, and ring the bell. Because of course, if you recall, on the inside, on Leon's story, you ha we have to do that thing where you like fuck around with the stained glass windows. Ada also has to do that, though I believe the solution to it is different somehow. I don't know how. As I said when I did the puzzle for Leon, I r just don't, I like know the gist of how you're supposed to solve the puzzle. I just don't have the like spatial recognition skills to do it. So I just kind of fuck around with it until I get it right. You know, the way all great minds solve their problems. When Einstein figured out E equaled MC square, I'm sure he just sat there drawing equations on a chalkboard until he just like rubbed his chin and was like, yeah, that looks about right. Also, that was a very dramatic en entrance there, knife-wielding woman. No, fuck. Fine. You win this round, man with axe. Oh god, why? It feels so terrible to go from, like, finished game Leon to separate ways, because it's like, man, I remember when my pistol would, like, kill one of these guys in, at most, two shots. And then Ada's, like, Sitting here shooting these guys for like minutes at a time, almost, not quite, probably actually somewhere in the vicinity of 10 seconds, but you know, numbers are hard. I don't, I'm not a big fan of numbers, they make my thinker box hurt, so I just kind of go with the flow. I just, you know, much like Einstein when he was figuring out the E equals MC square, I just like say a number and I'm like, yeah, that sounds about right. Now, also, we will try to enter Ashley's door, because, you know, why not? Of course we cannot, because the time space-time continuum must remain intact, but, you know, we'll try. The door won't open. It's locked. I can hear someone whimpering on the other side. They sound strangely chimp-like. Hello, sir. I mean, it doesn't help when you just, like, can't shoot a guy, also. Stab, 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 stab. Ada's knife is much prettier than Leon's was. Hers is like gold and shit. There we go. Didn't drop anything. How stingy. Gonna break these barrels. Oh no, but now those barrels won't be there for Leon. And then the time-space continuum fractured. Yeah, there we go. The lights. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, give me a second as I, like, fuck with it, like, this thingy, you know? Oh, I'm the best. It didn't take as long as I thought it would. Oh, I guess it's like, the, it, I guess it's like upside down, because it like flipped at the end there. I don't know. And half an hour later, we rang the bell. Where's everyone going? Bingo?
And there we go. The Separate Ways chapter's much shorter, as you may have noticed right there. And we also... Here's what I know so far. Osmond Sadler's cult is known as Los Illuminados. They've resurrected some sort of parasitic organism they call Las Plagas. That's all my organization knows for sure. Though Sadler's occult activities seem worthy of investigation. The Salazar family, Castellans for generations, possessed the ability to control Las Plagas. The organization's hypothesis is that a unique frequency of sonic wave sensed only by the parasites is used to control them. The same principle used in dog whistles. This was inferred through the analysis of a tissue sample we retrieved. The tissue contained an organ presumably used for sensing sound waves. I've seen cult members carrying ceremonial rods, and I wonder if they emit these sounds. Of course, this is purely theoretical. The organization needs samples of the parasite to confirm or disprove these theories. That is the main objective of my mission, and the only way to prove my loyalty to the organization. The opening moves in this chess game have been played. There's no turning back now. I was gonna say something before that cutscene, but... God help me if I can remember what it is now. So anyway. The only reason I've taken on this mission is to get closer to my own objective. No matter what happens, I can't let anyone figure that out. Of course, hiding in the shadows isn't my style. I'll have to reveal myself to him once in a while. To offer... Nope. I have... Oh, wait. It got very jumbled in my mind. I'll have to reveal myself to him and offer advice once in a while. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Look. I don't know. It just, it got jumbled. Here's what I know so far. Osmond Sadler's coat is known as Lost Illuminados. They've resurrected some sort of parasitic organism they call Lost Plagas. That's all my organization knows for sure. The Sadler's occult activity seems worthy of my investigation. There's a blah, 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 blah. It's the cutscene again. Now. On we go. Save. Yes, I would love to. Uh, there. Yes. Great, excellent. Onwards to chapter two. discovered by the Illuminados. You must be talking about that vagrant Spaniard. So where is he now? He's held captive in an abandoned house located northeast of the village. Until he recovers the sample, we can't let him die. You don't need to remind me. Luis, Sarah. And I thought I was high maintenance. Rescue Luis. No problem on it. He's all the way over there. Not a problem. Let's go. But first, let me steal this egg. That is, like, put weirdly on display. How long have you been staring at me? That's pretty creepy. What you got? Welcome. Welcome. 